everybody, this is Sean Powell. I wanted to show everybody something. Um, you know, when it comes to roadblocks, a lot of y'all, you know, this is online business. There's going to be always something, okay? And, and a lot of times, if you address the roadblocks, you're going to wind up noticing that there's a way around it. Sometimes it's more beneficial to you, and you learn something in the process, y'all. And you can teach your downline to do the same thing. Unless the site is down, there is usually a way to go around something. Some of y'all may not like to deal with it. That's your choice. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's where I think belief in your business is going to help you get over roadblocks, uh, find a way around. You always hear that over, under, or through the roadblock, you know, kind of scenario. And uh, I wanted I wanted to show you a good example of one that I've recently dealt with that a lot of people didn't even choose to 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 even mess with. To be honest, um, I'll give you uh, explain what I'm talking about here. In January. Um, I don't know if you know this or not, but in January, a lot of the sites like uh, traffic exchanges and things like that were having a hard time getting all the pages to show up. Okay, let me let me give you an example of this. This right here is a HTTP site. It's made with Power Lead Systems. Okay, it works great in Facebook. It works great in you know anywhere I want to put it. The problem is back in January, Google had decided to make some changes about HTTP uh, sites, and they're trying to make them where, they're trying to get more people to go with securities. So if you notice, if you go to certain sites, it would say this site wasn't uh, you know, secure, uh, things of that nature, because they're really trying to enforce people to go that secure route. Well, inside of some traffic exchanges, they didn't do anything different. Nothing's changed on their part, but Google has. So if you noticed, the HTTP site itself was be, would be from the traffic exchange or whatever business you're going through. But when they tried to show your page, not all of them, and not even all the time, it was really kind of odd, very sporadic. But a lot of the time, a good deal of the time, you couldn't see the page. So that's an issue. You know what I'm saying? That's an issue when your HTTP sites aren't showing up. And the only ones that I really saw for the longest time was PESA, Solid Trust Pay, businesses that were big enough to have a default landing page where it was HTTPS, the uh, default sales page was HTTPS, things of that nature. They weren't affected by it, not by the changes that were made in January. Okay, now, uh, over a period of time, I had noticed it had gotten worse. Um, it had gotten to the point where I wasn't even seeing Parley Systems pages at Traffic Hurricane. And, you know, that's, that to me is, is an issue. So I started thinking about two things here. How can I fix this? Number one, I could try to find some site that does an HTTPS where I can make a landing page or something like that. And then that landing page have a button on it that would send to my Parley Systems page. That was going to be one of my solutions. Okay. But I realized that Traffic Hurricane was going to do a new update real soon. Okay, so I was like, hopefully this is something they're going to address and fix. I told Ernie, you know, Ernie knew about the situation, and I wanted to, you know, to, to let him know and stress how important it was, which I think he already knew, to be honest. And I said something to Frank Calabra. Frank said something to him. And again, y'all, some people, it may never have even affected other people. It was not just a browser. I've tried three different browsers on different computers. You know, it was just such a high percentage of getting worse and worse and worse where you couldn't find the HTTP sites. Now, during that time frame, though, I said, you know, I'm still getting ad packs on a daily basis, right? And I was still letting my people get out there to see, and I was still getting leads from here, but I didn't know what percentage was actually getting seen. Now, I understood that if somebody clicked the banner, that it went to my site and it was never an issue. That was not getting stopped. It was just the HTTP site inside of HTTPS site that wasn't allowing it to be seen. Okay, so what did I do? I decided that it would be a perfect time to learn how to make incredible banners. Okay, because I couldn't rely on just my page right here. I needed to learn how to really up my game to make better banners. Now, let me show you. 
these are the banners I'm creating right now, right? Now, to be honest, it took me a little while to teach myself how to do this, stay below the radar so that I could get these into the sites, um, you know, because there's a certain size that you can only do a gift size. So how was I going to get where I thought they were going to be high enough quality looking images, be able to stand out 100% compared to anybody else, and to up my lead numbers from my banners alone? So I did some studies off of it. At Traffic Hurricane, with these banners here, when I started doing these different banners like this right here, I started addressing a different market of people here also, right? What I learned was at, I, I made one special page for a landing page, and I did not use it anywhere else, nowhere else. And every banner that I did, every banner I did went to that special page. So when I got a lead and I saw that it came from that page, there was no questions as to where it came from. It didn't come from the ad pack plus the thousand views because the thousand views didn't have that page. See what I'm saying? I was assigning that to wherever I wanted to go. So I was using straight up just the banners itself that I had created to grab attention. Now, with that alone, it taught me how to up my game on making banners. You see what I'm saying? I really want to be able to grab attention and, and be able to pay, make some of the best banners I've seen anywhere for my downline and for myself. That was the day right before the event at Traffic Hurricane, y'all, where I went to the Raleigh, North Carolina, the United States event. And I got 17 leads in 24 hours, all because of one of the banners that I'm doing here. How can I confirm it was the banner? Because it was the only one that had that page. Now, I can tell you this. It's not too uncommon for me to assign a certain link with a URL because I wanted to, to study the results of it, right? But this was incredible. I had never seen where one banner got 17 leads by itself, not including the thousands of views that came with the banners. See what I'm saying? Now, to be honest, I could whine and complain just like anybody else could have, you know, and watch my lead numbers stay you know, minimal. And it's not nobody's fault. And to be honest, show I go to Power Lead Systems Facebook group a lot. I've seen people commenting about the traffic exchanges and the places they were putting it that they didn't see many Power Lead Systems pages showing. It's not Power Lead Systems' fault. It's not Traffic Hurricane's fault, but a roadblock is still a roadblock. So either you can learn to adapt to it, change it, fix it, go around it, or whatever you got to do for your business. You see what I'm saying? Now, to be perfectly honest, if I didn't believe in Traffic Hurricane business, I probably wouldn't have went through the trouble of teaching myself how to make some incredible banners. But because I did believe in it, and I wanted to learn how to up my game in this, I took the time to teach myself how to do something. And y'all, you don't think this moving forward for me in my online business world is not going to be priceless. You see what I'm saying? What I taught myself during the roadblock is, is up my game in so many ways. Now, Traffic Hurricane now is entirely fixed. I'm looking at a ratio of 100% when I'm doing my clicks. If I don't see a page pop up, to be perfectly honest, it's usually a Traffic Hurricane page that went to the old referral link that is no longer an existing link. And I'm sitting here clicking, and I'm going to tell you what, man, I don't even care whose PLS page it is. I think it's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Just to see it after seeing the last month of, you know, it going downhill. And y'all, this is things that you don't even really know about the new changes in Traffic Hurricane. You see what I'm saying? So now, if I was getting, I mean, not putting this down at all, it's a beautiful banner. But y'all, there's a huge difference 
between grabbing attention with that and this. You see what I'm saying? So I taught myself, and not only that, y'all, I learned to 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 kind of give a little bit of my personality inside my banners. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the He-Man one right here. I think that's cool. I've never seen anything like it. Uh, this one is actually a MacGyver. You know what I'm saying? A 12-hour marathon on MacGyver, but we are a close second. It's talking about you know, how cool action takers are. Click here, get action takers. MacGyver hair is not mandatory to join, but definitely a plus. You know, to me, it's a, it, it, it gives you a chance to show a little bit of your personality. Um, if, you know, if doing something like this, I would highly suggest you don't necessarily have to do this. I've got videos in the training page, y'all, showing you how to make storyboard banners, okay? What a storyboard banner is, it's going to be a picture what's going to have me in it. It's going to be uh, talking about what I think about the business. Um, little things like it might have a picture of me and my little boy in it. Some of them was funny. I did things where I had the bunny rabbits in it at Easter. I did uh, some things, yeah, and they weren't hard, y'all. All I really had to have, just like this, they got one thing in common. I just had to have the imagination to come up with something. And then write it down on a piece of paper and exactly what I want each one to say. And then you can just follow my YouTube video down, you know, in my training page. And I show you every step in how to host it. And once you're done, you've got a banner that is your own personal, that people are going to relate to you. Now, I could not do that here 100%. Even though it's my personality and stuff, and I have a lot of fun making these things. A lot of fun, actually. But this is universal for my team. I can't just put me in here with my little boy with, you know, my cat and things of that nature. But, y'all, I will let you know, my lead numbers, even with those storyboards, were great. So you don't have to have incredible banners to benefit, you know, for that's for sure. It's still about people connecting with you. You know what I'm saying? I can, I'm sure I could go right now, pull up a couple of them old um, storyboard ones, uh, like I keep talking about, put them up there, and and be able to get great results. You know what I'm saying? Because people get to connect with you, and that's exactly what it's for. Anyhow, y'all, I just wanted to let you know, I easily, like anybody else, could have easily said, you know what, this is a problem, blah, 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 I, I you know, step away from it, whatever, I, I don't know, you know, but instead I decided to rise up to it. And, and my lead numbers, I can't even imagine what they're going to be like now, to be perfectly honest. Because now I've got all of these clicking here when they're doing the clicks. And, and they're working 100% and even doing better. And I've got control of my banners up here as well. You see what I'm saying? So between both together, I'm looking for Traffic Hurricane to go crazy on lead numbers in a very short period of time. So, anyway, I just want to let you know, to me... That's how you address issues. That's how you overcome issues. And that's how you become more powerful. More, you know, you learn for something that's, I'm going to benefit from here on out. So it's just a way that you got to look at it, y'all. Unless the site is 100% down, it's up and going. Deal with your roadblocks is what I'm trying to tell you. All right, y'all. If you need anything, let me know. Loving me some Traffic Hurricane, 100%, y'all. If you're not in Traffic Hurricane, that's a given. Go ahead and click down here below. Uh, this will take you straight to Traffic Hurricane. This explains everything. Might look a little bit different right now, but that's fine. It's basically the exact same thing. Um, you know, my banners, if you come into Traffic Hurricane or Power Lead Systems or both, you know, Power Lead Systems are how I make all these beautiful pages. And yes, y'all, it makes a difference. Getting paid nonstop for, good gracious, two years straight, every week, Wednesdays, uh, like clockwork, payday, is beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. So, you know, and all I'm doing, y'all, is getting paid to use my own tools and to brand myself in the business that I believe in. That's how I know. That's what I see. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Once you learn to do something like that, y'all, it changes everything. You become, compare this default landing pages and sales pages that most people are going to use. It's going to blow the doors off of it. Make your own content or use my stuff if you like. They're both available to you if you're in our uh, business. So, y'all, why don't you come on through? Click the link down below. Go ahead and sign up. Friend me on Facebook, and I'll personally welcome you into the Facebook group. Got a great group of people, and we all love Traffic Hurricane and Power Lead Systems. If you need anything, just let me know. Appreciate it.